Now let's learn the next feature that we have onto Canva, which is Magic Wrap. So for you to be able to get started onto using that feature, just simply click on to create a design. Then right after, you'll just have to choose from the different ratios or the things that you want to do in here. So they're actually suggested ones here below it. So you could utilize a search bar and then you could just go ahead and try to import your file or we could choose a custom size that we want to use. So you could just add in the width, height, and then right after, you're just going to go ahead and create new design. Now, once you're already onto the platform, you're just going to go ahead and try to drag and drop in the files that you want to use in here or the photo that you want to edit. So here onto the left side, you should be able to see design, elements, tags, a brand, and uploads. So we'll just need to click onto uploads in here. And then right after, just go ahead and try to upload the photo that you want to use. Or if you have something that you've added already, you could go ahead and try to use that. So for instance, this photo that we have in here, we're just going to drag and drop it here onto the canvas that we have. You could go ahead and try to resize it like that. And then the next thing that we could do to have this one used into our feature is just click onto edit photo in here. So here onto the edit photo, you could see the different features of Magic Studio. So you could see magic grab in here so we're gonna go ahead and try to click onto that to use this feature and as you can see the photo will load we'll just have to wait for that and right after once it is done you could see that the photo or this one has been removed already to the background so it has grabbed the photo of the girl in here and then the background is also different so you could actually use this feature for different things like you could remove this or change the background of your photo so we could leave the girl in here then you could utilize the different elements that we have in here to search for different backgrounds that you could add here onto your photo so for example we want to use this so we're just going to go ahead and try to resize this one out and then set this layer onto the back of it so that we go ahead and try to change the photo or the background of the photo that we have uploaded now once you're actually done you could go ahead and try to review the photo that you did you could try to add in some text or other elements as well onto your photo and once you're done just go ahead and click onto the share button here onto the upper part you'll have the option to download it you could copy the link share it directly to instagram brand template present and public view link and then here onto the download you'll see different file options or file types that you could choose from so you could just choose the one that you prefer and then click on download and that's just basically it on how to use magic grab on magic studio